Hey everyone, it's Nerf Boy Productions here, and this is the brand new Nerf Rivals Atlas. Sorry about that. I am just very excited for this blaster. Any of you guys who are longtime fans of the channel know that my heart lies with Springer blasters. Well, so far, this Rivals series of blasters shoots these little little yellow high impact rounds, as they call them. And they released one Springer Blaster and then one electric one. Now they've released another electric one and this one, their second edition Springer. I have tried all other three blasters in the series and so far, this one looks to be my favorite. So I'm very excited and I hope you are too. Let's get into the video. Okay, so, ages 14 and up, that's a big thing with the rivals. These things are shooting 100 feet per second. So, some high velocity stuff right there. Spring action. They advertise that because they know Nerf Boy digs it. Spring action, double shot. Okay, you're getting two shots right now. That's so cool. And then of course the, oh, this isn't, this blaster claims it's not shooting 100 feet per second. It's going 80 feet per second or 24 meters. So, Rather than doing distance claims, I guess they're doing feet per second claims because the original rivals were both shooting 100 feet. These are shooting 80. Maybe we'll see a difference, maybe not. Maybe they're just getting a little more uh, realistic with their claims. We'll see. Well, on the back of the box here, it's pretty small. I don't know how well you can see, but of course, all the rivals blasters come in a red and a blue. And now that there's four blasters, they have four dudes on each side, all wielding different guns. It's very, very cool looking. We're finally getting that blue versus red. Before when they just had two guns, it was like, eh, okay, kind of a gimmick. Now we're getting into a serious lineup. So again, this is the Atlas XVI 1200. Okay, ooh, weird names. Um, trigger lock, tactical rail, easy load 12 round. 12 round mag. We'll see how easy to load it is. Magazine release, ready indicator. Wow, we got tons of stuff on here. Pump action, I believe. Okay, so very, very awesome. 12 round mag. I think the original came with 10. Okay, that's about it for the box, guys. I mean, you can feel the high impact round right there, but no one cares. So let's go ahead and cut this guy open. I also do have a red one. Funny story, the Walmart in my town here in Canada really sucks for Nerf, and they never have any of the new stuff in new, and uh, I scoured the whole town looking for the Atlas. The other one was easier to find. I could find the Chaos, no problem, but the Atlas was hard to find, and Walmart only had one. One of each color, so I grabbed them both. Walmart came in clutch with this one. I think I posted something on my Twitter about that. Because I have a Twitter link in the description. <laughs> okay, so here's the rival Atlas, and uh, it's big. It's a, it's a really good size. I like it. So we got some twist ties and stuff holding everything in. I think we'll just go ahead and cut everything out here, and then show it to you, rather than inside this box. I guess twist ties are meant to be untwisted, but knives are easier. Let's be honest. All right, so. Four ties holding in the Atlas here. And now, oh, she's free. Wow. Okay, first of all, I don't feel like you should ever dry fire with this blaster. That's so loud. That feels like a modded Nerf gun that gets dry fired. So this Prime is very big. I love that. And then, geez, that's loud. I have an auto-adapting mic, so I don't know if the mic found it very loud, but it's loud. So here's our 12 round. This is longer than the original one we got with the Springer. Uh, but it's the same design, if you know what that looks like. Here are our... Oh! No flipping way. Ladies and gentlemen, Nerf did something incredible. 12 round mag. 24 rounds included. They included double the ammo that's needed. Never never does that. They never do that. Maybe they know how easy it is to lose these little little balls. All right. Anyways, let's throw the box aside. And that is awesome. So we got 24 rounds paired with our instructions in this little baggie. Well, you actually have 23 in here and there was one more in a little display case you have to get out, but okay. So to load the magazine, I'm assuming, yeah, the easy to load mag is actually easier. You see, the Chaos came with 
this magazine and I actually have used the chaos I just never made a video on it. I wasn't too impressed so I just skipped it all together but if you really want to see a video on the chaos I could do one but I basically I wasn't a fan of how long it took to load the magazine. The thing is if you're on the battlefield and you have one of these stick types and there's all these balls on the ground you can actually just press down and they pop right in. It is a very easy magazine to load with the uh, rivals line which I dig. Like I said, there also is an instruction manual in there, but we don't need that. So, let's go ahead and see how this fits in. Engineering. Yeah, that looks so cool! That is awesome! Now, okay, yeah, so you don't have to slide it all the way in, you can just drop it in. Okay, so, let's go ahead and take a look at the Atlas. One big tactical rail on the top, and the rival's tactical rails are different. They're more Picatinny style. They fit um, all Nerf stuff as well as real stuff. It's very cool. Over here we have a safety, and all of the rival's guns come with safeties. This little orange sight here on the end doesn't actually flip up or down, it's just there. Of course we've got, it says double shot action, so this looks like two barrels, but there only really is one. So we'll see how that works. Got this big prime, we got a jam door just on the left side, right there. That's a very cool jam door. We've got the rival paint and the, and the black decals, of course, only ever done on the right side of, of, of a gun. Nerf hates painting their left sides. And uh, we have a sling point here on the back, and people ask what a sling point is. Just a spot where you can, uh, you know, attach a carabiner to it and then hang it from your waist or something. Um, so, sling point on the back, that looks like the only real one. Of course, you can always make your own, but, uh, yep. And they have a fire indicator, so when it's primed, this little black thing should, uh, go colored. There we go, it's orange in there now. And your magazine release is ambidextrous on the back. I think it's actually easier if you do them both at the same time. And then, the mag can go, uh, out and up. There's kind of a spot, which you can see, where it's easiest to drop in the mag and then just slide it in. So, uh, let's see. Ah, oh, I was like, oh no, it's broken. Safety. <laughs> Here's what I want to know. They are delivering enough velocity to shoot these balls 80 feet per second and that's two of them. Is it possible to mod this to shoot, take the power it puts into both and shoot one at a time with like double the power, like a shotgun? That'd be very cool. Oh, my ear's ringing. I'm trying to get the gun in the shot, so I'm putting it like this and my ear. Next question, does it have slam fire? That's where you hold down the trigger and just pump and uh, see if it fires. No slam fire. Okay, this is very, 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 very nice. I, I gotta tell you, I love Springer Blasters. They're loud and powerful and accurate for a Nerf gun. Anyways, let's go ahead and load up a new, another mag here. So, a 12 round magazine shooting two rounds is uh, six shots. Not a great deal, but luckily Nerf does manufacture many upgrades and uh, spare magazines and extra rounds you can buy and they're all readily available so uh, it shouldn't be a problem if you're worried about how small the mag is. You can stock up on tons of these and just throw them in over and over again. So let's move the camera and I want to show you guys how far these things fly because it's crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and shoot down range here. We're going to take our six shots and see just how far this thing flies. Only one came out. What? Maybe two came out and I'm just blind. Whoa. So one of the barrels got jammed, and I guess when one of the barrels gets jammed, the other just continues to fire while the other one doesn't. That's very, very strange. Um, we still have more rounds though. All right, so it jammed. Not happy to see that, but that might've just been fluke. Cool. So I was just shooting down maybe a three foot gap 
uh, and the balls almost always made it through and the gap was very far away. So, so here's the gap uh, that I had to just get through and I was shooting all the way over there. Needless to say, the balls are fairly accurate. It's, it's not that windy, but I'm also outside so there is wind and drift and stuff. And as you can see, right there, it made it all the way to the edge of my yard. Something Nerf guns have a very hard time doing. Needless to say, this gun shooting two at once, and when it gets jammed, it still continues to fire one at a time. And the most important thing to me is when it did jam, which I still think is kind of fluke, but when it did, it did not chew up the rounds. The other guns, when they jam, they destroy them. The high impact rounds did fine. This thing says it's shooting 80 feet per second, but I really see it, I'm looking at it flying just as far as all the others. I think Nerf has just altered their claim of 100 feet because everyone's like, that's a little ridiculous. So to me, this thing's shooting just as well as any other Rivals Blaster. I love the size. I love how you put the magazine in. I love the style of mag they chose to go with this. I, I dig this blaster. I, you know, I went into this video expecting it to be my favorite gun that they've produced for the Rival series, and it is. So let me know what you guys think. Have you tried all the other ones out? And if you have, what is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're new to this video or this channel, I make Nerf videos every single Saturday. And as far as Nerf videos go, let me know what you want to see in the comments below, like uh, unboxings, reviews. I'm trying to work on some Nerf Wars, guys. Believe me, if you want to hear more about behind the scenes of everything, you can check out my vlog channel, which is always in the description below. And I try to post daily there if you want more content. So with all that said, I'm gonna go now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, this was Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.